Hello everybody, it's the Horror Fan Man here again. I've got uh, quite a few films to show you today. I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers for um, keeping the faith. And let's like say hello to all the new ones as well. And a nice big shout out to Majestad Bowser, who's um, actually going to look into getting me a It Follows Blu-ray with a Spanish title, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, so um, check him out. I'll put his link in the comments in the box below for you to check him out. He's got a good collection. Right, here we go. First up, I got this one. It's uh, 88 Films DVD. Sorority Babes at the Slime Ball Arama. Uh, it stars Linda Quigley, who I met way back in the 80s when she was promoting the Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Lovely lady. Yeah. I. Uh, don't think I've seen this back in the 80s when it was out, but it looks really good fun. And they actually had this behind the counter in there. I've seen it. It was in the adult section for some weird reason. So yeah, lucky I've actually seen that. So pretty chuffed with that. Got a few arrows as well. I got this one. It's the Bear Behind Bars. This is their DVD. I love that cover. Really good. Yeah, I enjoy the old Women in Prison films. Might actually start getting a few of them. This one looks really tacky as well. <laughs> Just the sort of shit I like. So yeah, pretty chuffed to get that one. And I also got this one as well. Island of Death. Already got it on a big box German DVD. But you know, I thought with the Blu-ray coming out now. I thought this one might get deleted sometime. So I thought I'd get my hands on it. Just in case. That's Island of Death. Also picked this one up as well. Say so, um one of the aerodrome releases this is the um the cheerleaders never seen this but i like the look of it i'm pretty chuffed to see that on the back it's actually got um the full length follow-up as well revenge of the cheerleaders as well so two films for the price of one so yeah look forward to seeing this nice and finally because of the sale i finally got this it's the um massive battle royale limited edition lovely big chunky box here it's actually got tons of stuff in it. A limited edition, exclusive extras, individually number certificate. So I've quite chuffed at that. It's got their theatrical cut, special edition director's cut, and masses of special features as well. Um, new restore transfer, both brand new subtitles as well, limited edition packaging, and exclusive special features. There's only 10,000 of them, so. That's all there. Comic and postcards, booklets, special features, director's cut, theatrical cut. Yeah, so well chuffed to get this. Got it under 30 quid as well. Love it. And obviously, wouldn't be an update without another one of these. This is the um, It Follows. This is the Canadian release. It's Blu-ray, DVD and a digital copy as well. So another different cover there. I love that cover. Yeah, got a to Unready for getting me in touch with this one it's a mongrel release so yeah really chuffed at this and it's also got the slip cover as well which i'm well chuffed about yeah so that's the latest one still got a few others to get so anyone out there in europe i know sweden's got one and norway as well i want to get hold of them but I tried to sign on to a site the swedish one but every time i do it it keeps coming up with just some problem with it all the time so anyone out there can help me like Magister Bowser's gonna get me the Spanish title one. Um, yeah, let me know. I can always send the money to you through PayPal. Yeah, that's that one. Also got this one. It's another of the um, video nasties. It's Night of the Bloody Apes. This is from was it Nucleus Films who done the um, video nasty documentaries. Yeah, just watch this. It's a Spanish film. It's really quite a lot of nudity in it and. Got a lot of gore in it as well for a 1968 film. Really good fun, man, I tell you. I really enjoyed it. Looks like a shameless one, doesn't it? Or yellow. So, yeah, that's Night of the Bloody Apes. Also got this one. It's a Lucho Fulci one. It's um, one of the hardcore releases. This is Enigma. Haven't actually seen this film yet, but, you know, I like my old Lucho Fulci. I know some of his other stuff was pretty shit, but... Yeah, this one actually looks really good. About a you know, boarding school in Boston. So yeah, I think some girls do somebody some wrong. And basically, they all start dying strangely. Good fun. 
also got this um, Lamberto Bava. This is um, Graveyard Disturbance. Yeah, this one actually looks quite good as well. You know what I mean? So I look forward to watching this one. So not nothing about it. It does look a bit a bit fakish to me. The certificate and that, but probably not. Probably an early release. I picked this one up from Asda for three quid with the slip cover. This is um, VHS Viral. I've had mixed reviews on this one. Some people say it's good, some people say it's shit, but it's only three quid and it wasn't released in Blu-ray over here, which annoyed me. So yeah, I'll give this one a shot. I have enjoyed the first two. Second one was better, I thought the second one was brilliant. So yeah. Picked this up from um, CEX as well. Pretty annoyed because the cover was ripped and that, but they put a sticker on it, as CEX usually do. Yeah, Sinjinur, never heard of it, but it looks good, looks cheap fun. Prism release, you know, Prism always release cheapy films, but yeah, looks like it might be fun, so if anyone's actually seen that, let me know. And lastly, got around to getting Stoker, I was annoyed with this because um, the sticker they always put on the bottom, the sleeve was actually sticking out below the bottom, so when you take the sticker off, it peeled the cover off and it was also all here. It was all bent and ripped and folded back up. Yeah, I have to learn to start taking a bit more notice of the state of the cases in these. But yeah, I've heard some good things about this film. Never seen it. Nicole Kidman in it. So yeah, give that a shot as well. Yeah, so that's it for this, this week. Yeah, it's supposed to be slowing down, but you know, got a few of them. So yeah, if anyone's seen Enigma, Graveyard Disturbance, Sinjaneur, Stoker, Cheerleaders, Bear Behind Bars, or Sorority Babes, let us know. Yep, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Hope you're having a good time. It's getting really cold here in England. And um, once again, check out Magistad Bowser. It's from Mexico. It's a brilliant YouTuber and that. Yeah, give me support. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.